Hello, Kid City. Welcome back, friends. We have some amazing, amazing news for you. Stay tuned. You don't want to miss this. Also, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I'm sure many of your friends would love to see this. You ready, set, let's go. Channel Kids City. I'm Stacy here with your afternoon news. So there's been a report that today is Pentecost Sunday. There are many good reports flooding in today, but first let's take a look at Izzy and the past and see what she has to say in Jerusalem. Thank you, Stacy. This is Izzy reporting to you live from Jerusalem. So we've been here for a couple days now and all we can hear are people praying. We're not sure what's going on, but we know something amazing is about to happen, that's for sure. My fishes, my fishes, where are my fishes? This place is absolutely crowded. I'm standing outside the city gates. I'm going to try and get a little bit of a closer look. Back to you, Stacy. Thank you, Izzy. So we've gotten reports saying that there are people in the upper room still praying and no one has left for days. Have you heard anything else that's going on over there? Okay, I've made it up to the upper room and yeah, Peter's in there. And, and it looks like they've just appointed Joseph, also known as Barsabas, and, and Matthias. And it looks like they're gonna take Judas's place. Now, now they're praying again. Can you feel anything? Give us the details. What's going on over there? Well, it feels very powerful here. You can tell that they are in unity, which means they all agree about something that's going on. Something very powerful is about to happen. No one knows what it is, but you can just tell something extraordinary is about to happen. The crowd's going wild! Is there anyone else there with you that can tell us what's going on? Um, yeah, let me grab someone for an interview. Yeah, I found my mission. Hello, would Hello? you like an interview? What's your name? Cece? Can you tell us a little bit about what you're doing here and about what's going on in Jerusalem? Well, I'm looking for Jesus. I heard he came back. I just want to find him. We've been following Jesus for several days and we went out in the wilderness and there was barely any food. We were all so hungry, but the words he spoke were just like a breath of fresh life. We are all so hungry still. That's great. So can you tell me about some other things that Jesus has done? Well, before that, I saw my grandpa take the sheep to the tabernacle and he wasn't even allowed inside. I don't remember seeing those sheep again, but when Jesus was there standing and talking with us, I just knew that it was something worth listening to. We're all just so hungry. So, so what else did Jesus do? Well, you see, there were a few fishes and bread and thousands of people were starving and Jesus prayed and started breaking it all up. I wouldn't have believed it unless I saw it with my own eyes. There was more than enough food for everyone. Did you hear that, Stacy? Wow, that's amazing. Do you know more about what's going on here in Jerusalem? Well, I heard what was going on here in Jerusalem and that people were speaking my own language. I had to come see it for myself. Where is that coming from? Hmm, there's a noise. I must go find my donkey. Um, uh, is he? lost Izzy. But first, let's recap what happened. So, it looks like they're in Jerusalem. Everyone is saying that they've been there for days and no one knows what's going on yet? Stacy? Stacy, can you hear me? Come Izzy? in, Stacy. Izzy? Yes, we, we just witnessed it. They, they were all speaking in another language. In other tongues. Other tongues? What's that supposed to mean? Well, I, I've been told that when you receive the Holy Ghost, the evidence is that you speak in another language that you've never learned. It's something supernatural, something only God can do. That's pretty spectacular. It is. People thought the disciples were having a party because it was so crazy and loud. But, but, but Peter stood up and he said, no, it's only the afternoon. And, and that they're not drunk, that people thought they were. And, but this is exactly what the prophet Joel spoke of. He said it would happen. Really? It was talked about beforehand? It was talked about years before. I would like to experience that. Well, you can. It's for everyone. Listen, Peter told them to repent. 
which means to ask God for forgiveness and to try not to do that same thing again and to be baptized in the name of Jesus and that they too would receive the Holy Ghost and the evidence of the Holy Ghost is speaking in another language which is called tongues and the other language is something that you didn't learn it's something only God can do and then what happened and they obeyed and like 3,000 people were added unto them that same day Stacy I gotta go obey too this is Izzy signing out Wow what a great event that's crazy how people back then had to sacrifice an animal just to cover up their sins, but now we have the Spirit of God living inside of us. This is Channel Kid City, turning it over to Sister Maria. Sister Maria, can you tell us how we can experience this today? Thank you, Stacy. Well, kids, did you know that actually took place? What an amazing news report! That actually happened in the day of Pentecost. Several people were filled with the Spirit of God. But you know what? It did not end in the upper room. There are still thousands and thousands of people just like you and I. Kids, young, older people, younger people, grandparents, kids your age that are still receiving the Spirit of God or the Holy Ghost inside of them. Do you know how to find out if you actually have the Spirit of God or the Holy Ghost living inside of you? Do you know how do you know if you receive that special gift God gave? It's really simple. When you start talking to God, first of all, you need to repent. And after you repent, you have to lift up your hands and just lift up your voice and just start thanking God. I mean, if I got a birthday present, first thing coming out of my mouth would be, thank you. So when you repent, after you repent, you stop and you start thanking God for wiping away every sin and wiping away every bad doing that you've ever done. And you know what? He loves it when you tell him, I love you. So you can start saying, I love you, Jesus. You can start saying, hallelujah, hallelujah. He loves that. These are all wonderful things that God loves. And when you start talking to God, all of a sudden you start feeling something and you're like, wow, I was just praying and all of a sudden I could feel it. That's the Holy Ghost around you. But he doesn't want to just stay around you. He wants to come inside you. And as you keep going and you keep praising God and you keep talking to Jesus, guess what? Your tongue's going to start doing something really funny. It's going to start speaking another language. And you know what? That is a secret language that only you and God know. And you could talk to him and that secret language will start coming out of your mouth and you're going to feel it. You're going to feel the spirit of God come inside you. I want to take a moment and pray for you right where you're at. So if you would close your eyes and lift up your hands, let's pray together. Jesus, Lord, I thank you, God, for what you have done for me, God. Lord, I want to take some time, God, and repent, God. I want to say sorry for every wrong thing that I've ever done, that I've ever said, everything I've ever talked about, God, that was not pleasing to you, God. I pray, God, that you would wash me, that you would cleanse all those things away from my life, oh God, and that you would show me how to live for you, God. Remember, we have to praise him. So at this point, we're going to praise him. Jesus, I just want to tell you that I love you, God. I thank you, God, for what you're doing in my life. Thank you for washing away my sins. Thank you, God, for cleansing me, God. Thank you, God. Lord, I thank you, God, that you have made a way that I could receive your spirit inside of me even now, God. I thank you, Lord. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, God. Go ahead and keep talking to Jesus. Keep praising him. Keep telling him that you love him. Keep telling him, hallelujah, Jesus. That's right, right there where you're at. If you have a mom or a dad that are present, they can help you keep praying through. Um, if you need help or if you have any questions, feel free to talk to Sister Jocelyn, Pastor, or myself. I pray that you guys stay well, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.